Today I'm in Cadiz, northern Spain, just south of the French border. There are still plenty of tourists about, mostly French. The Tramontana is blowing. It's a warm breeze that comes off the mountain, but in winter it can be bitter. The euro was introduced to the eurozone in January 2002. Before that, if you travelled on the continent, you would have to buy currency for each of the countries you were going to visit. So if, for example, you were going on a holiday to Spain for two weeks, you would have to buy francs for four days to travel through France, and then pesetas for 10 days in Spain. When you did this, two things could happen. If you didn't buy enough currency, you would have to rely on your credit card. Or number two, if you bought too much, you'd have to bring your francs and pesetas home and stick them in a drawer. Every time you bought currency, you paid a commission on it. The best place to buy was in a bank or a credit union, where you paid between 5 and 6%. On a credit card, it would be anything between 8 and 13%. And the worst place of all to buy was at a kiosk in an airport, and there you paid 8 to 15%. Depending on how you managed your money, a financial institution made between 5 and 15% on every penny you spent, and that's a lot of money. Today with the Euro, traveling from Fromoy in County Cork, all the way through France, down to the south of Spain, and back up to the north again to Cadiz, it's Euros the whole way. No financial institution now makes a cent out of what I spend, and that's money in my pocket. Another great advantage of the Euro is price comparison. On this trip, I made a record of the price of diesel along the route. I'll have to refer to my notes here. In amber in Framoy, it was 131 per litre. Bordeaux was the most expensive at 154 per litre. Valencia was 126. Tarragona was the cheapest at 125. Here in Cadiz, it's 127. Before the euro, price comparisons were lost in a banker's cornucopia of currency exchange rates. When deciding to do this vlog, I asked several friends at home what was the best thing about the EU as far as they were concerned, personally. One friend exclaimed, without any hesitation, tracker mortgages. You see, tracker mortgage interest rates are tied to the ECB interest rate and they have been set at record lows for years. And that's a lot of money in a lot of people's pockets. If you like this video, and you think it's of any use to people who want to uh, fight to stay in the EU, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much.